Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flights in 2020 where I'm going to take a look at some of the sites added by the latest update, World Update 6, that added locations, points of interest in Germany, Switzerland and Austria. In this case I plotted a flight through Switzerland and Austria and I intend to fly to MB339. Uh, it is Italian, but, uh, you know, it's got sort of Swiss colors there. But uh, anyway, it, I've, I decided it would be the best thing to use in this particular case. I think it'll be suited to taking a close look at the sites while also covering the distance in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, Germany, I will save for another time as it is much more involved. There's a lot more going on. I haven't even done... Uh, the Netherlands and Belgium much yet. There's a lot of sites that I haven't visited. So there's a whole thing there. And, you know, another kind of challenge would be uh, plotting a course and then visiting as many sites as you can in an hour. That would be another idea. Just a thought. But anyway, uh, here we have our course and we'll see what we get. So we're starting off in Geneva and we will land at Salzburg. Okay, so here we are at Geneva. It's a pretty complicated course. Let's see if I can bring up an external map as well as the check out whether we've got a good read on things. So we'll take a look at some sites in Geneva first and then Lausanne Cathedral and Chilion Castle are the first things. And then there's a self observatory there and we've got our path like that. So that's all working right. Huh, I wonder why the instruments are so small compared to how they used to be. Don't even know how to resize those. Okay, lots of interesting stuff, but breaks off and go. We'll keep the flaps down so that uh, we can fly slower. So, say hello to Geneva. I didn't pick the stadium as a point of interest, so I'm going to have to look for it. I think I think there it is. Yeah, it's got interesting surroundings here. The roadways around it. So there's the stadium at Geneva that they've added. You can see the tracks and the highway, a very interesting formation all around it. I think there's probably some missing buildings close to it though, or is that a parking lot kind of thing? Maybe it's supposed to be a parking structure. Not sure. There's a interesting building over here. I forget what it was because again I didn't have it marked, but there's a building there. And over here I think there's some sort of memorial at this channel. Uh, just to our left there, that that statue in the midst of that park. Unfortunately, some of these sites are a little bit small for us to see in, in an airplane in general. You almost need a car. Okay, flaps up and we'll go on to the next location, Lausanne Cathedral. I did not have real world weather on, I just put some clouds, but it looked like the real world weather was a bit stormy, so wouldn't have been good for sightseeing. Or at least rather cloudy. Okay, we are approaching Lausanne. Now they okay, I think I can see the cathedral there. Yep, there's the cathedral. Lausanne Cathedral for you. Let's do a loop to loop interesting hill right there okay other side of Lausanne Cathedral there we go a little bit fast but not too bad all right on to Chilion Castle which is at the opposite side of Lake Geneva from Geneva just cruising along Lake Geneva. Well, there's a reason why I tested the air brake. We're going to have to use it frequently to slow down. Not the most fuel efficient thing to do to constantly speed up and slow down, but it'll enable us to see all the 
intended sites efficiently. I see the castle right there. Yep, there it is. Compelling location for a castle, beautiful view of the lake. Probably pretty defensible. I don't think I'm going to try and get the opposite view of that one. Let's just go straight on. Climb every mountain. Let's see here. Well, let's not go straight at it. We are struggling here. Nice mountain and trees, though. Let's see if we can get above this ridge here. As we do need to cross some of these mountains to get to our next destination, which is actually pretty far into the mountains at that observatory. We'll pass over Siom. Very common place to take off from for glider flights. Here we go. This is this is why this is a good plane for this business. Nimble just fast enough. Performance appears to be silky smooth over the Alps, considering I'm recording on the same computer. I only record at 30 frames per second, so you're not gonna notice 60 frames per second suddenly. Well, there's the valley. The Rhone River Valley and Sion Airport there. I'm going at a flat, fast enough clip that the textures aren't quite resolving. I hope they're not this muddy by default. I think it's just not loading them quickly enough. There's the look of not having load. There we go. Just as I complained about it, it started loading these. Yeah. It's a complicated terrain. It can do better on these. It's, I think it's got a few more levels of detail layers that haven't shown up yet. We're down at 67% fuel already. We might have to land somewhere on our way. Uh, there's a lot of clouds here. Okay, well the glacier, I mean the observatory is beyond this. Oh yeah, I think that's Zermatt. Yeah, Zermatt. That's actually a photo... Um, photogrammetry city. Down there. I don't want to descend right now. It'll lose me energy. Let's just see the observatory, which I expect is higher up anyway. Is that what that is? Hold on. Uh, no, we're uh, off to one side from it. Hold on. Coming around. Oh, over there. Well, if you have to observe something, that seems like a pretty good vantage point, huh? Yep, that's an observatory, alright. It's got the domes. They're a little bit fast. We'll go one more time. Oh, there's Matterhorn. Matterhorn looks great, actually. Oh, wait. No. What's that mesh there? <laughs> okay. Uh, I wonder, do I have the mod in here? I don't think so. But maybe I did... Something, something has gone horribly wrong with the mesh for Matterhorn. Well, oh god, it's going up. Will I survive going underneath it? I, I think um, this is not something I should explore. Let's... What the Oh. Hmm, yeah. Let's ju let's just focus on the observatory. Okay, there we go. Much better view of the observatory. Wonderful location. And we are going to Sphinx Observatory, so another observatory. And then 
Pestil Grande. Well, that should be good. I do have the Matterhorn mod in. Okay, so the Matterhorn mod is floaty. I might need to delete it. Maybe, the, hopefully it doesn't update. Because the Matterhorn sure did look good. It just wasn't sitting down, right? Well, let's take a look inside. Should have done uh, a little bit more inside views of the mountains here. There might be an airport around here, judging from those markers. Just trying to find... Okay, LSZA and LSZL are options at Castle Grande. And then if we think we can get to this viaduct, there doesn't seem to be too much stuff there. There's a lot of places where we just don't have any landing locations until we get to Innsbruck. Okay, well, let's see about this Sphinx Observatory, huh? Again, a fabulous location. You would not find it easy to uh, merely visit the location on a tour or something, I, I don't think. Seems like it might be a little bit tricky to get up here. Seems like it's around here somewhere. We're right over it? It's sort of... Oh wow, right there. Gosh. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll come around, we'll come around. <laughs> they sure pick the best locations for these observatories, huh? These sure are... Uh, the observatories and castles are the best things to visit. I don't really care about the stadium so much. This mountain is not too bad either. Okay, so that's the observatory. It's got a dome on top there. Little dome. Alright. Well, that's all we can do there, I think. Alright. So that was the Sphinx Observatory. And we are headed to Castle Grande. To be honest, I could do with losing some frame... Some frames here and there if the texture is updated a little bit faster. I wonder if there's some setting that I can adjust to make sure it does that. This takes a little bit of time sometimes. Also, if they could adjust the mesh a little bit further forward so I didn't have to see the mesh adjusting all the time. I'm willing to trade frames for for the looks, let's face it. It looks like things are heading downward overall, so let's descend. So this is Lorcano, Lo, Locarno, sorry, Locarno, in front of us. And I do think I'll pick up fuel here. And I think I see it. It may in fact be a grand castle. I think that's what that is. They'll take another flyby. Surely this plane is designed to turn within the Alps. <laughs> Seems like it would be part of the design specifications. Okay, closer up look. Got a long wall there. All right. Yeah, so we'll land at the airport. Okay, full flaps, skier down.
Okay, we are down. Not the longest runaway in the business. Didn't even turn on the anti-skid, so... I do wonder what that does. I never remember to turn it on. Oh, they've got some high grass over here. I don't know where the fueling station is, but that looks like a truck full of gas to me, so... Flammable, yes. We want that. Okay, so... Let me just go ahead and add the fuel manually here. Not any fuss. Alright, we've gotten our fuel. Off we go. Uh, nice trees in front of us. I've got the Bijan Habashi tree pack, so there better be nice trees in front of us, basically. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna blame the tree pack. Okay, off we go. Glad to see this plane is doing all right after the updates. Ooh, barely got off the ground there. Okay, so there's that castle once again. Nice choice of location. Oh, I think there's a sort of adjunct place to the right of it there I've been. So I think we're going this way. Two paths diverged in the middle of the Alps. I would assume the viaduct is relatively low. It's probably not observatory height. Well, it looks like we've got a valley here. And yes, the viaduct is in the midst of it, so let's just slow down. It seems to be couched in the middle of that canyon there. Yep, that's that viaduct right there. Interesting. Not earth shattering, I think. I think I won't go for a second pass on that one. Interesting location though. I think maybe if the mesh and textures resolve themselves a little bit more, it'd be better, but probably a better sight from the ground. Double check the air brakes in. All right. So next up, Tarasp Castle. Now that little homestead on top of that plateau seems like an interesting place. Not homestead, the whole town really. Well, village town. We are still in Switzerland right now. And... I think... I'm not sure which side Ter Terrace Castle is. Whether it's in Switzerland or Austria. Skirting on by. I like these mountains. These are wonderful mountains. Look at that one. Okay, Terrace Castle is in Switzerland. Well, it sure looks like Terrace Castle is along this river valley here, so. Let's cut power here. Oh, I think I see it right in front of us there. Built into that rock, apparently. Okay. Uh, let's get a second look at that. Ooh, cutting it tight there. 
No, oh, still cutting it tight. This is a forgiving plane, but not that forgiving. Okay, there it is. Much better view. Terrace Castle. Okay. On to Austria, finally. New Schwanston Castle. That might be actually in Germany, right? I think that's in Germany. So we're taking a brief jaunt into Germany. Yep, Bavaria, Germany. Really close to the border with Austria, but not in Austria. We're currently along the Inn River. And going up the river, we'd, we would get to Innsbruck. But we will deviate from the river to get to the castle. Which is a fairly familiar looking castle. I think many people have seen images of it before. I think it's on the opposite side of this bridge. Ah, there it is. We'll take one other look on it. There we go. That's better. Okay. Apparently the interior was never completed. Okay, back over the Inn River. Oh wait, this is not the Inn River. Nope, we're the next river over. Whoops. Wrong river. There's the Inn River. See? Easy to get mixed up. Okay, well there's Innsbruck Airport. We're just going to do a quick fly over and then continue. Just another popular spot for flight simmers. I don't have any special scenery here, I don't think. Next up, uh, Kufstein Fortress. Fortress now. Oh, Kufstein Fortress seems a really old fortress. They don't even really say who built it. In uh, on Wikipedia, yes, Wikipedia it says the fortress is mentioned for the first time in a document in twelve from twelve o five. Obviously, uh, they added bits to it over time, uh, so the core of it is. More than 800 years old. Apparently it was the prison for political dissidents in the Austro-Hungarian Austro Empire, so... A notorious fortress, then. Land is getting relatively lower. I mean, actually, the valley itself is pretty high up. It's just the surrounding mountains are not quite as high as before. Okay, approaching Kufstein Fortress. Well, I think it's pretty prominent in front of us there. Again, I'll do a loop. Yeah, it's just one of the bigger ones. Well, 
not a bad approach, initial approach here. But yeah, we can do another pass. There you go, Kostein Fortress. Sure seems like a fortress to me. So, next up, St. Bartholomew's Church, it looks like. Fairly impressive fortress. Okay, I hate the clouds where I don't know if I'm gonna smack into a mountain or not. Uh, okay, we're good. That's an interesting formation to our right there. Another nice mountain here. Can we do? I think the church is right by the lake. There is the church. I'll only do one pass on this one. There you go. What a place to put a church. Somebody just wanted a nice vacation house. <laughs> I'm being very cynical here, but, you know. I don't see the community that that one serves, is all I'm saying. There's a nice little mini canyon here. Yeah, that, that was a nice little stretch there. It's like in Top Gear where they find uh, nice little stretches of roads. Sometimes there's just nice little stretches of terrain to fly your plane over. So after Hohenwerfen Castle, we can just go up this river valley, or down this river valley, uh, along that river valley to the airport at Salzburg. That's a nice terrain right there. We are pretty down on fuel. Good thing I did fuel up where I did. But I still don't know exactly how much we're gonna still need. Um, looks like it's over there somewhere. Oh, okay. No, it's over here. Uh, the castle is where? Okay, well, gosh, do you see it? I must have missed it. Oh, wait, wait, it's on that, t that on that hill, I think. Whoops. There it is. Jeez, it was tough to spot coming in. The other hill obscured it. Okay, we'll, we'll come around again. Okay, nice looking castle. Still went by a little bit fast. One hundred and eighty five kilograms is indicated there. And we are flowing at fifteen kilograms per minute. And I don't know how much is just the unusable fuel. We're not that far away from LOWS. In fact I think I see it. So maybe it's not too bad. Okay, so landing at Salzburg, and that will complete our tour. I don't know if there was any sights in Salzburg. I probably would have plotted them before the landing if that was the case, so I'm assuming not. Oh, this is an inconvenient view. Okay, 
first notch flaps here down okay touchdown All right, no problems. I don't think Salzburg Airport has any special scenery or anything. That's an interesting structure to the right there. Well, we'll just park right in front of the tower, why not? All right. So there we go. So, they're in the tour. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.